Hello everyone. Today we'll be seeing the solution to the problem shift and adjacent sums which came in the code shift starters 84 happened on 5th of April 2023. You are given an array A of size N. Consider an array B of size N formed by sorting A in a non-decreasing order. Let Z be the sum of the largest and the second largest element in A. Basically, find whether there exists any rearrangement of A such that for all i between 1 and n, ai plus ai plus 1 is less than z, which basically means that sum of every adjacent elements in the rearrangement of A is less than the sum of the largest and the second largest element in A. If such rearrangement exists, we have to print yes and otherwise no. The input format and the output format are as follows. Now let us deduce what exactly we are trying, we are being said at the problem statement. So, to achieve our goal, what we need is that to know when we have to print no and when we have to print yes right to create an edge case we need to sort the array in ascending or and uh, descending order i have uh, solved this using the uh, by sorting the array in the descending order so we will go by that path let's take the sample test case that is uh, 3 4 4 what we need to do to solve this problem is that we need to pair every available largest number to every available smallest number here the available largest number is 4 and the smallest number is 3 once they both are used the available largest number is 4 and smallest number is also 4 but it is an array of odd length so it's just 4 the sum of adjacent element in this rearrangement of A is 7 and 7 and the sum of the largest and the second largest element is 4 plus 4 that makes it A. Since for every largest and every smallest element the sum does not exceed 8 we can print yes and otherwise no. Moreover, if we take another test case that is 1, 2, 3, 4, I guess. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since it is already sorted in an increasing order, we need to pair 4 with 1 which makes the sum of adjacent element as 5 which is less than 4 plus 3 that is 7 moreover we need to pair 3 and 2 which makes it as the sum of adjacent element 5 which is also less than 7 the notion is that if at any point this uh, condition doesn't hold that is the sum of the elements that we chose that is the largest uh, available element and the smallest available element is greater than equals to the sum of the largest and the second largest element present in the array A then we need to print no. Why this is the only case because at every iteration we are finding the minimum sum possible for the largest available element that is if we had taken 4 that we always need to consider as it is present in A. If we take any other element other than 1 then the sum may be greater than z but there also may exist a possibility such that the condition holds true. But if we walk on the path which always minimizes the sum of the adjacent element, whenever the condition is violated, we can print no. 
I hope that I was able to convey what my idea is working on and let's see the C++ implementation of the same idea. First we had taken the number of test cases as input and used a while loop to take the number of the size of the array and the elements of the array as input. Then if the size of the array is less than or equals to 2 or 2 basically then the sum of the largest and second largest element is always equals to the sum of any two adjacent elements because we only have two elements right so we print no and move out to the next sample test case moreover if this is not the case and n is greater than two then we sort the vector in a decreasing order now we have also taken a boolean variable answer to check if at any point the largest possible element and the smallest possible elements sum is greater than or equals to z how i have managed it i have taken a variable or iterator i and initiated with zero that is if we have sorted it in decreasing order the largest element present with us and every time i add n minus i plus one that is the element from the end to it that is the least or the smallest element that is available to us if this condition doesn't hold or is greater than equals to z then we can be sure that there doesn't exist any other combination such that if we take the largest available element and any other element our sum becomes less than z if we iterate through every possible condition up to n by 2 that is the middle of the array then we can print yes most of you will be thinking that why i have not considered the in the case of odd numbers of array the middle element remains right so indirectly we are pairing the middle element with the last smallest element for example in the case 4 3 4 we took 4 and 3 right and paired it and 4 was left we can we say that indirectly 4 is also paired with 3 right so every element in an odd array and every middle element in an odd array is paired with the last iterated smallest available element right i hope that i was able to convey my solution to you properly thank you